Hey everyone, Patrick McGrath here, Chief Clinical Officer at NoCD, and had an interesting thing this week. Some of my staff uh, sent me an article about someone who had developed a relationship with an artificial intelligence and felt that there was really a connection there. And I could see that because as you work more and more with kind of AI and it learns you and your patterns and the responses that you like and the ones that you don't, it can really be trained into giving you what it is that you're looking for. And I thought about that for a bit and thought, this could be interesting, right? Because on the one hand, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the future, we could train a lot of really great AI exposure and response prevention work, you know, where people could type in some of the obsessions that they have, and they would be able to get help with generating a hierarchy list of things that they might utilize for all of the work that they need to do for uh, their therapy. So I think that there's benefits that could potentially come out of this. And uh, I, I even have seen another story where there were some vignettes that were given. And when given to an artificial intelligence, it was able to, uh, if not 100%, almost absolutely 100% uh, diagnose the correct diagnosis versus people who had not been trained in it, but were in the medical or mental health field were hitting at about an 85%. Uh, so another reason why you want to go to somebody who really specializes in something because their diagnostic uh, acumen will be much higher uh, than somebody who doesn't have the training in it. But I was also thinking a little bit about the idea that what if AI were used in such a way that you could train it to give you reassurance? you could train it to give you all of the answers. We know that in the past, people have had to spend a lot of time doing research, but with the ability of some of these programs now to be able to mine all sorts of things off of the internet, uh, there are so many potentials for reassurance seeking that AI could provide that I personally am a bit concerned uh, when it might be used this way because we know there are five safety behaviors, right? Avoidance, reassurance, seeking, distraction, substance use, and compulsions. And so reassurance seeking could really be bolstered by this AI experience. So if you find yourself utilizing AI and asking it tons of questions about things that you have obsessions related to, and you're enjoying getting all of the safety facts or uh, the probabilities and the statistics about something, know that that might feel good in the moment, but you're going to still need more and more reassurance because every day more data comes out. So you could ask AI tomorrow the same question and get maybe a slightly different answer if an, another study's been published or some new warnings are out about something. So I would really be wary of doing this because it could really get you stuck into I need to see the world through the lens of all of the data that's been accumulated out there. And the only way to accumulate all that data in such a fashion that it will be done quickly is through these AI bots and these generators that are going to be giving me all of these answers. And while those meal may feel very good in the moment, they probably aren't. Well, I would say they won't, but we'll go with probably aren't going to be the best thing for you. And you'll want to still go back and do great exposure and response prevention therapy. Because remember, the goal of the treatment isn't that I'm going to have all of the answers, which our computer systems are trying to say more and more. We can get you all of the answers that are known up till today, right? The goal of treatment isn't that. The goal of treatment is I can live with doubt. I can live with uncertainty. I can be in the moment and not have to think of every awful, horrible permutation of everything that might actually happen. I can learn that I can be me, which is someone who is imperfect, who doesn't know everything and who can handle challenges and really allow myself the opportunity to face life without having to know absolutely everything about it. You know, when I'm done filming this video and I go upstairs, I have no guarantee I'll make it up to the top of the stairs without falling, right? And so should I crawl up the stairs? Well, no, I'm not going to crawl up the stairs. I'm going to take the chance. I'm going to take the risk. And we know that OCD says, 
is it really worth it? I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe you should not be doing that. So just keep this in mind as we're going through all these interesting times with the way that computers are working. And as we hear more and more about AI, please, if you have an anxiety disorder, if you have obsessive compulsive disorder, don't resort to it as being another source of reassurance. Don't utilize it as a safety behavior because it might feel good in the moment, but I think you will continue to find that the more and more you use this, the more stuck you are in OCD. So hope that helps just give you a little bit of idea about this. I mean, you know, going back to that article about the relationship from what I gathered is that uh, some of these systems only have so many characters you're allowed and then the relationship reset. So the person really felt like they'd lost the relationship they had, right? Because now it's reset back to zero. All the learnings were gone and maybe new data comes out now. Like maybe you should take a break for a few days from, from this, which could feel like we're breaking up. Uh, you know, they've made movies about things like this too, where people get into relationships with uh, artificial types of intelligence. And I just want to be sure that everybody can recognize that all of these things can be really alluring, really exciting, really fun, but let's keep our humanity and our reality in the experience as well. All right. Well, I hope that that's helpful. And remember, if you're looking for help for OCD or related conditions, check us out at nocd.com. That's nocd.com. And if you are uh, really enjoying the Get to Know OCD podcast or the Sunday Drops or my Wednesday webinars that I do, subscribe to the NoCD YouTube channel. We hope to see you soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.